What's up guys, it's Ralph with Pondscapes. Happy New Year, let's get rolling. All right guys, so we are out in Phoenix, Arizona on this chilly morning. Now what we're gonna be doing here is a 16 by 14 pond and we're gonna have to shoehorn it into this kind of tight fitting. Here is our access right through here. Big obstacles that we gotta worry about. That's the main one, the gas. Alex, don't hit the gas. Stop recording. <laughs> You know, when you got tight spaces, you got to have small machines. That's why I am very happy that this guy just showed up. It's our buddy Nate from Bingham Equipment bringing our machine to drop it off so we can get to digging back there. Time to get digging. So let's take a look at the layout of this pond. All right, we have got our 13 by 17 pond laid out. And what is going to be really, really cool about this is the view from in the house. See this little lip right there coming off the patio. There's gonna be a deck built on top of these pavers and that's gonna come out flush off of that lip and right over the pond. It's gonna overhang that pond a little bit. Grandkids will be able to come out, dangle their feet into the water. Look at that beautiful waterfall. It's gonna be right over there. We're gonna have an awesome intake cove right over here. Later, the idea is to have trees planted. This whole backyard is gonna turn into a beautiful oasis. That smaller bucket is slowing us down a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna make do. That's not gonna stop us. What Josh and Alex are working on right now is backfilling this wall that we built. And you can see now we've got that pea gravel filled in to that back joint. When there's landscape plantings planted here in the dirt, if there's any kind of moisture that goes into this block, now it will hit this gravel and not transfer through to the other wall that will show up on the other side. So the guys got this area leveled out to where we are going to install that biofall and then hook up this three inch plumbing to connect to it so we can finish backfilling around that waterfall. All right, end of day two, and we're still not done digging this thing. It is really rocky and access is limited, but we are making really good headway. We've just got to finish out this area, but the biggest thing that uh, happened today uh, was biofall getting set, the plumbing is run, and some of these monsters got brought back. The human horsepower here behind me did all of this, except for the big ones, right? <laughs> I helped with the big ones. All right, guys, day number three. <laughs> We're finally going to get this fabric and liner in this hole. But before we do that, we are shading this with sand. On this particular project, we're using our extra thick rock pad as our underlayment and then we'll put our liner down and then we'll put another layer of standard fabric on top of that liner so we will be heavily protected against all these sharp fractures
I didn't set you up, man. <laughs> We accidentally, on purpose, made this happen. This was one rock. And uh, when it fell out of the trailer, broke in half, and look at that marriage. I mean, how cool is that? This is, this is a good advice for all marriages. Sometimes you want to break up, but it just helps you fit together better. Here we are about an hour into day number five, and we are finally making some pretty good progress. Check it out. Getting the gravel installed into the bottom of the pond, we've got our diffusers for the aeration system installed. This is our airline. We trace that under some rock, and you can see we just kind of uh, wove that through, and then we also put down some cover tape for patching or seaming and just kind of glued that down to the top of the, the fabric there. Now what we've got to do, work our way over to this side and rock this area in. And what has to happen? That machine is gonna get dangerously close to these windows. We're gonna get it right up on that paper patio and set some rocks right here and get that knocked out. All right, so we got that machine up on this patio. Things could not get any tighter than this, but hey, we're making things happen. Uh, so what we got to do is uh, build out first. So we started this lower section, started away from that corner, and you can see we're getting creative and stacking up as we get closer to the surface because there wasn't a shelf right there. So we're creating that shelf. So each row of boulders gets backfilled with gravel, and then we set another layer of rock, and then we backfill it. And that'll help us create this shelf that we need right here, and it gets stays nice and tight to that patio for the deck to overhang. I want to introduce to you one of my best friend's son. Jack Harry with Atlantis Water Garden. His son Anthony came out to visit us on this project and uh, make sure we're doing it right. Ant, what's up buddy? Not much, it's great to be here. It's amazing weather, sure beats the 30, 30 <laughs> degrees back home. So Anthony will be with us for probably the next couple weeks uh, helping out on some projects. He really just wanted to get out of the cold. All right, so what Anthony is working on right now is running the lights through our chase lines. Now, these lights are going to get installed mainly on this north side of the pond, facing outward. We don't want any lights facing in towards the house. And then we'll have a central location where all the lights connect. That way, if we need to do any replacements, it's nice and easy to pull new lines through and uh, find those connections. Now that we've got the opening to that intake cove uh, set, we are going to finish rocking this backside in. So basically what's going to happen is rock work is going to go in front of that vault and then gravel work behind that so you won't see that. And over here, this big gap right here, we're going to leave that open. The reason why we want to leave that open, we want to try to make this look as natural as possible. So what we're going to do is like an avalanche of cobble rock all right anthony what have you got going on right here well, i just cleared my area i'm going to start laying some of these smoother stones down and try and make it almost like a little beach area uh, like you were saying before kind of like an avalanche yep so i'm going to kind of spread them out they'll start thinning thinning out towards the outer ring here i'll probably come back a little bit further but <clears throat> just trying to get it all together here 
Okay, get it together, fella. I'm trying. All right, guys. So the big cheese has come to make sure his son was uh, in good hands. Yeah. I am so happy that my buddy is in town and wanted to eat. You know, I, I think you couldn't have thought of anything better to do with your time than I'd come like play to the finish dirt. this because I want to get in my Harley and go ride to California. So oh. let's get it done. You're not here to just hang out and build waterfalls, huh? No, no. It wasn't my plan. But I'm, I'm here now, so let's go. <laughs> you know come, come. that the day wouldn't be complete without the birthday boy in the house. Chris, happy birthday, man. Well, it was technically yesterday, but well, uh, hey, listen, we're, we're in a different time, time zone. So different time zone. <laughs> so we got Chris Baker from across the ponds. You know, just sitting back, relaxing, and uh, enjoying the Arizona sun, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> So we're excited to get this thing all done because Jack, myself, and Chris, we're getting on our motorcycles to do a little bit of a trip and then come back after we're refreshed and get back to work. All right, guys, so I am back. Had an awesome time hanging out with Chris and Jack, just riding our motorcycles, experiencing life together. And this is the first time I'm seeing the pond since the guys finished up. I'm excited, cannot wait to see this. So let's go. Okay, so what we have here in the back tail end of it, this is a glorified skimmer. We call this an intake bay or intake cove. Basically what this thing is doing is drawing water in. The pumps are living right under those, those gravel beds right there. There's two pumps, one for the circulation jet and one for the waterfalls. But you can see that current drawing into this area and we've got this debris just swirling around. So this is gonna be very easy to just use a leaf net and remove that debris. Also over on the sides, we've got some pockets for plantings. So under that uh, layer of gravel, there are, there's actually uh, the pond water. So the, the plants are on those edges are getting water directly from the pond. We've got a diffuser over here, diffuser over there, adding additional oxygen into the pond, pushing towards that skimmer, drawing through the pumps up to the biofalls, completely saturating the pond with additional aeration. Right there behind Alex's boot, you can see the push of those jets. So basically in the water, a few inches down below, you can see the end of a jet right here. So it's not doing too much disturbance on the surface, but it is giving, giving enough of a push to push that water back towards that skimmer. So we can make sure we don't have any dead zones in the ponds. I believe there's uh, six lights. Actually, there's seven lights now. We added another one. This thing is going to look amazing at nighttime. This is a gorgeous waterfall. That access is not an easy task to get this through. But these two machines got it done. It's a lot of that machine. This guy made, it, made them go into place. But we also had a lot of help from Anthony, so I want to send a thank you to Anthony. He just got on the plane today to go back to New Jersey, but could not have done this without the, the muscle of, uh, of these guys behind me. Alex and Josh did an amazing job. When I originally came to do the consultation with, uh, with uh, uh, Julia, she showed me something that inspired her. We've got that. That's our inspiration. And that's what we ended up with. So this, this is so cool when we have the opportunity to have, to create our art for an artist. So I loved that I got to see this and her granddaughter added a little bit to it too. She needed some fish in there. So got the fish in there. 